Well, would you look at the time? It's time for Nagato Nights on Friday. Huh? Huh? We're live? We're live? Oh, oh, we're live! Hello, everyone! Welcome back to Nagato Nights on Friday. I'm Seiche, your host as always. Now, we've got some news about Elder Scrolls and Star Wars and Ninja Turtles. First, as you're aware, if you watch uh, Miyuki Monday, um, Miyakawa family's hunger ended last week. So, we've, I'm going to find something to fill the void. And for now, uh, I'm going to be advertising Beware the Batman. So I think we'll start with that. Funny intro, funny intro. How am I going to find an intro this? I'm not going to do that. Why are you telling me to do that? Fine. I apologize to everyone on YouTube. I'm Batman. Like I said, I'm sorry. Well, there's your info for the series premiere. It's Saturday, July 13th, 10 a.m. Eastern and Pacific. The thing about Beware the Batman is, in an attempt to step away from the amazing that was Batman the Animated Series and try to make itself seem separate, they're u they're doing two things that no other Batman show has done. One, they're using the 3D art style that's used in Star Wars The Clone Wars and Green Lantern the Animated Series as well as Transformers Prime. While they're also using characters that are lesser known, such as Katana, you might recognize her from Batman the Brave and the Bold, that's why I used that picture of her from Batman the Brave and the Bold. Alfred Pennyworth, who I know people know who he is, so it was probably a mistake to put him on this after that line, but the reason I did it was because people don't always realize Alfred's ex-military, as you can see by him taking on Prometheus there. Professor Pig and Mr. Toad, who are apparently two of the major villains from the New 52, well, they're getting shown here as well. And rounding out the cast is Magpie, yet another unknown villain. I somewhat question the idea of not focusing on the major villains. The show might not be as successful if people don't recognize the characters, like the Joker, Harley Quinn, the Riddler, and the Penguin. If they're not in the show, I'm afraid people aren't going to be into the show because, well, they don't recognize any of the new people. Okay, can you give me a number crunch up duel? I'm getting 33.33 repeating, of course, chances of survival. Well, that's a little better than we usually do. Alright, so what we'll do is... Libra Jang! Skyrim is an amazing game. Like, I just started playing it, um, last week, I believe. And oh my gosh. It's mind-blowing. Which is causing a problem for Elder Scrolls Online, as I just found out today. Uh, because... Well, people are afraid that it's not going to get as much attention as Skyrim did. Well, the studio assures us that this is not the case. They claim that Elder Scrolls Online is going to be the next big chapter in the franchise, and so they can't afford to ignore it. There are also some people who are afraid it'll just be another World of Warcraft read mold. Well, yeah. Um, they say that really the only way you can know it's different for yourself is if you actually play it. So get the beta if you believe it's just going to be another World of Warcraft. Listen up, Shoinies. I've been given the go-ahead to let you in on the newest Star Wars intel. Star Wars The Old Republic is amazing. It's the first MMORPG, whatever you classify it as, game that I ever played. And it's amazing. It's a sequel to the highly successful Knights of the Old Republic. Another amazing game, totally worthy of a successor as amazing as SWOTOR. And it turns out that Knights of the Old Republic is celebrating its 10th anniversary. In order to celebrate it, a new title is available through the cartel system inside SWOTOR. That title is called Revan's Heir. If you were expecting more, sorry, that's all you get. Continue the operation. They need to know everything we know. A while ago, I talked about how Mark Hamill wants to return as Luke Skywalker for Star Wars Episode 7. He's not alone. 
Harrison Ford is apparently confirmed to return as Han Solo. That is awesome! We get the entire original cast. Ugh. Please? Please? Again? We did that one last time I talked about Turtles. You really want- <sighs> You guys need to pay me to do this. Seriously. Okay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power. Alright, so, it's kind of a taboo topic, but the Turtles are getting a movie by Michael Bay. Yeah, words we still wish were not true. The linked article is about how Paramount wants it to be like the Avengers, and Michael Bay is being really respectful, but there's bigger news than that. It's finally confirmed they are no longer going to be the aliens Michael Bay was saying they would be earlier. They're not aliens! They're not aliens! Our voices were heard! Well, that concludes a Naruto Nights episode insert number here. I'm sorry, Yuki, I know I forgot the number, but seriously, we needed to talk anyway about my pay. You, you aren't paying me, so I need to talk to you about that. Because after those ridiculous lines today, I seriously need a pay raise. <sighs> anyway, stick around for future presentation. Bye, Nee!